transitioning out of an adjunct. Okay. Ideally, I'd actually go with the OPA as my first choice, which I can leave the MPA in. The MPA is fine. Very good. I know that I can bag my patient in the absence of supplemental oxygen because I know this will work with ambient air. I've got a good seal. The mask is the right size for my patient's face. I'm going to breathe about one breath every six seconds, just enough to get that chest rise. The volume of roughly half this bag. I know that this bag is about a liter. I know that I really only need about 500 milliliters in my patient's chest. Can you tell me about your ventilatory weight? Uh, so one breath about every six seconds or so. Uh, being careful actually not to do hyperventilate or overventilate. Okay, so let's uh, add some oxygen to that ventilation. Take a breath. I'm going to be sensitive to not going particularly long without any breathing. I'm collected. I'm going to give another breath. I'm going to turn it on. up to a high flow, so we're going to go up to 15, make sure I still have good positioning, good seal, I fell off, but it's hardly my fault. Okay, so we just have a second EMT that's arrived here, Gates. I have a second EMT. Have just arrived here? I have just arrived here. <laughs> what I'd like for you to do, over to the right, second EMT, grab that back for me, please. Okay. we get a much better seal. Okay. With two hands, I'd like you to do a nice gentle squeeze once every, at this point, probably six or seven seconds. We can slow down a little more. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good chest rise and actually good lung inflation. My x ray vision, four, I can tell. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Oh, that's a little too fast, too, sir. Can you slow down a bit? Let's go one every six oh. or seven. I'm sorry. A little more smoothly. I know you just arrived at a second DMD. I did just arrive here. <laughs> so, like that. That's much better. It's almost as if you've done something like this before. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, show.